Hello and welcome to First Impression Reviews and today I have a very special video that I am completely unprepared for because this came to me as a surprise. My wife just came home a little bit ago and she said I got a surprise for you, opened up a bag and she got this for me. How cool is this Earthrise Skylinx? I can't believe she actually found this on the shelf. Um, I didn't even know this was releasing two shelves. I thought this was like an online order. I thought you had to order these online. I had no idea that these were going to be released to shelves. She found this at Target on the shelf. And as soon as she saw it, she just, no questions asked, picked it up, brought it home and surprised me with it. So, so excited to, to, to check this guy out. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm completely unprepared. I had no idea this was coming. I have no idea, no, no time to prepare, nothing. This is going to be the most first impressions of first impression reviews with you guys because i have no idea what i'm getting into here <laughs> this is really cool all right so here's the box for skylinks earthrise we can see both versions or you know the top and bottom i guess for uh, skylinks right there and we see the cone heads and the artwork i love that we're seeing the cone heads and the artwork because uh, you guys recently saw i did the uh the, the three seekers uh so i got the three main seekers so that we're getting the cone heads is very exciting because you know i'm gonna get those too so there's that. The side of the box here, we got some Earthrise artwork showing the uh, arc coming down to Earth with some of the other um, Autobots and Decepticons there. We've got some more artwork here on the side. There's the other cone head right there. There's Thrust. And then on the back, we've got all four or five, I guess, um, versions or uh, modes that we're going to be able to see with Skylink. So let's not waste any time. We've got a lot of meat to chew here with this figure, a lot of stuff to cover, and a lot of stuff that I'm going to be learning here on camera in front of you guys. So let's uh, let's get this box opened up and let's get right to it. Okay, let's get our handy dandy nippers and let's get right to it. And hopefully, I know this is a big box. This is a commander class. So this is bigger than anything I've attempted to open from this location. Uh, which we're at, at my desk here, um, the, my my current and temporary setup of my desk downstairs because I'm currently working from home, and my toilet room's not yet built. I know, I know, it's not. I haven't even started unboxing or, or unpacking boxes up there yet. All right, so here we go. We're gonna slide this guy right out, and there it is. Let's see what we got in here inside of the box. We got some. That's about it. Everything else is empty right in there. So we can set that aside. And let's check out and see what we got in the box. This is funny because they actually included part of that map there. So that's that's kind of funny. And maybe there's a decoder. Maybe there isn't. If there is, I guess we'll try to read and see what that says. There is. You know, um, so I got an update on the Seekers. Yeah, there's a decoder right here. I got an update on the Seekers. If you guys remember when I opened that, I said there was no decoder. And I actually threw that box away. And after I had thrown it away, somebody left me a comment and said it's taped to the side of the insert. So, yeah, too late. But, uh, yeah, nothing. It's not taped to the side of this insert. It's right here. Um, so, yeah, we'll take a look and see what it is that that says here in a little bit. We've got that little safety sheet that I never look at. And the instructions right there. And we'll keep these handy uh, because I'm probably going to need them. Let's go ahead and get this decoder out of here. And um, get the tape off. Okay, we got it out. Just a little fold there. And uh, let's see what we've got. So it's gonna, looks like it's going to be that way, I think. No, it's this way. I had it right the first time. And it says, Dead Universe. Dead Universe. I still don't know what that means. And the show just came out. As of the time of this is recording, the uh, show came out yesterday on Netflix, and I've already watched the whole thing. And I'll be watching it again. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, sit-down with Patriot Prime. Go check him out. Uh, Patriot Prime, a couple other uh, folks, Ghost Prime and uh, Engineer Hoist. So Patriot Prime, Ghost Prime, Patriot Hoist, er I'm all over the place. So, Patriot Prime, Engineer Hoist, Ghost Prime, and myself are going to be doing a roundtable here this weekend to discuss it. So, like I said, yeah, I just watched the whole thing yesterday. I'm going to probably sit down and watch the whole thing again either tonight or tomorrow morning. And then we're going to be doing a uh, live stream on, on YouTube. So, make sure you look for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. If it hasn't already come out, I don't know when I'm going to put this video out. Like I said, I was not prepared to shoot this video tonight. So, it may come out this weekend before that video goes up. Or if, um, if I put this out later in the week and that video has already come up. I'll put a, a link right here so you guys can go and watch that. All right, let's get back to 
sky lengths and uh, we just got some tie downs here let's see we got a little baggy here let's cut that one we got ourselves a little baggy with some accessories doesn't look like we got any stickers or anything like that i am sure toy hex is gonna take care of that so we got our fire 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 uh, <laughs> we got a lot of these uh, little fire uh, effects here and if you remember from other um, figure I think Jetfire uh, had one of these as well so there's a couple of different ways of breaking this down and making little fire effects and I'm gonna be playing around with this uh, probably to make some fire effects for the uh, thrusters here for the shuttle so that'll be cool and we got these and I think these are some cannons so there's that set those aside let's get the rest of this bad boy out let's see there's a lot of these tie downs here A lot of these. Wow. I have to get new nippers. I've been u these used to be my Gundam nippers, so these used to be really nice and sharp. But I've been using them for a lot of stuff that is not Gundam, especially in the move. <laughs> so they are uh, not quite not quite what they used to be. I am super excited. I've actually never had a Skylink, not even a G1. I've been, I've been really thinking about getting. Okay, looks like that is it. Let's get the box off to the side. That too, and that too. And uh, let's check this guy out. So there's our container. I guess we just need to straighten these out. Let's see, there's some there's some tabs right there. So you guys saw how that was packed just like that. So the wings are just going to rotate, and there's some tabs right there that the wings can tab into, looks like. Right? Oh, look at that. I just popped right off, didn't it? Okay, I hope we don't have ourselves another uh, Thundercracker situation here where the wing just pops off every time I look at it wrong. Okay, that guy should pop right in there. I don't know, it seems like it's at a weird angle now. Doesn't it? Straighten that out. There it is, guys. Check that out. There's, there's our shuttle there. Let's set the container off to the side for the moment. And I know that we can open the top here. That we can open the top. I've seen it. I've seen pictures of the top. There it is. So the top can open up. Not a whole lot to write home about there. Uh, just some uh, decoration. Really, it's just painted. Not much of a bay to talk with, talk about. Man, I'm pretty sure that these should be tabbed. But uh, doesn't seem to be very secure. I wonder if that's just a thing with this figure or if it's on mine. That is. When I tab in, I don't know if you noticed that, but when I tab this wing in, it just pops right back out again. Like, physically pops out. So there's that. Close that back up. Go around the bottom. There is some landing gear right there. And, yep, there's one right there in the front, too. Uh, and they actually, the wheels actually do turn. So that's pretty neat. And that, it is a big, beefy, big and beefy uh, shuttle. That is a good size shuttle, my goodness. And you can see there we got the NASA logo, and then we actually have a name for the shuttle, Magnificence, which of course is uh, very fitting for uh, Skylinks because that's pretty much what he thinks of himself. So that is really, really cool. Good size here. I've got uh, my Earthrise Prime, so you can see for comparison. Um, we'll go ahead and bring the container in as well so you can see both parts of this figure. Really, really big, uh, quite big. Uh, let's bring in a bigger figure, one that I've had on my shelf here that I've been uh, fiddling with a lot lately. That's my Titans Return Galvatron. I absolutely love this figure. I got the helmet for him. And he's a pretty big figure as well. And you can see these guys are still quite bigger than Galvatron. So, yeah, very, very good sized figure. And I just popped something off on Galvatron. That's going to just have to get fixed later. Set that aside there. And with that, I think Galvatron's uh, made his last appearance in this video. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see if we can figure out uh, if I can remember. Okay, so I guess these are going to connect, right? So. To do that, we're going to put the landing gear up, and there is like a hook system here. So there's a divot here, there's a little hook piece here. Is there wheels on this? So it's got the tracks, and that has wheels, but I don't think that those are real. Uh, at least they're not for this, for this mode, right? It's got the tracks, that's what the tracks are supposed to be for. So, okay, so we got this piece here, and then we got a hook up here. So, man, these wings are... I hope that this is just something that I am not aware of and that I am not doing right. Otherwise, this is going to be quite disappointing. So that one just tapped in quite 
that ju that just went in, went in. So I am doing something wrong here. Th something is not going in all the way. There we go. Okay. So you just got to put a little oomph on it. It's kind of like that Sentinel Prime figure was with the with the waist piece. So that that seems more secure now. All right. So let's try that again. So we're gonna put this piece into the divot here, and then this should just hook. And I am not doing something right. That should hook. Hmm. I believe if you can pull the top or the back of it up like that, then you're not doing you're, you're not doing it right. So let me see if I can figure this out. Maybe it's another one of those give it some oomph situations, right? Or maybe that is really just the way it's supposed to be. I don't know, but there it is. There's the shuttle with the uh, with the container. Let me see what that looks like. And it's still, again, pretty pretty big, pretty pretty big figure there. All right, let's move right along. That's just not working. I am sure that I am not doing something right here when it comes to hooking this thing in. That is solid. That doesn't come out or anything like that. So I must not be doing something right. I am sure of it because it has a tab. So it should just really, really, really get in there. And I just guess I am just not getting in there all the way. Maybe the feet are in the way. And again, this is kind of what happens when you are trying to do stuff without the instructions, right? Yeah, I must not be doing something right. But anyway, let's not. I'm sure there's a way to hook that in there more securely. But I just don't know about right now. So let's see. We are going to flip this guy over. And then these guys are going to come forward, right? So they were tabbed in on the sides here. And then I think you're supposed to bring this all the way up and turn it. And bring this all the way up and turn it. And then I guess that's supposed to come out some, some like that, right? Okay. Then we are going to take these panels here and these are going to open up all the way. Like that. These come out so that the wheels are down. And then these are going to come up. Wow, those are very, very loud ratchets so that comes up and turns that comes up and turns right and then you can put these guys down for guns like that and like that okay, we can open these up a little more all right in the front here i know that this is going to open up to some sort of a ramp or something yep that opens up like that and this part here on the top is going to open up, and that's going to extend later. So now we're going to take this, these uh, three parts here, and we're going to take our shuttle, and we're going to connect it to our thrusters. And I wonder how secure of a connection this is going to have. I wonder if it's going to clip into place or what. Yeah, that went into pretty solid, actually. And then the ramp comes down. And I guess it's just going to kind of sit there, and uh, for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to have to tilt it up this way so you guys can see what that looks like. So, actually, let me do this. And there you go. There's a whole view of it right there. Yeah, this is kind of awkward with these uh, <laughs> with, with this new format that I'm playing with and uh, figure this big. That is really, really cool. And you see, I've got this guy at an angle, and that shuttle's not falling off. It's actually holding in place there. I guess we, this, this could be a good opportunity to open these up, too. Huh? And, of course, I had to say that and then knock it off as soon as I did because I started messing with the bay, cargo bay doors, right? He was holding in there pretty securely even though I was holding it at an angle. So that was uh, that was good. It was actually holding in place pretty good. That was my fault because I started fiddling with the bay doors trying to open it up and whatnot. But there you go. There is what the uh, shuttle, with the base mode with the shuttle looks like. There we go. That is really neat. That is a great size. Uh, that is super cool. Another size comparison with Prime here. So you guys can see what that's, yeah, that, that's that's a big, this is a lot of figures. It's, it's, as you can see, very difficult to shoot. So now getting back to the other modes, because again, this is already long. <laughs> we got a lot still to do here. We're going to put that down, close it, and we're going to close that there. Let's get this guy back to, I guess we're going to start working our way back to, take these guys off, back to container mode but then we're just gonna stop and uh hit our hit our links mode on the way i suppose so we got these guys coming in we'll bring these guys back right, which 
turn it over and I guess we we'll just straighten these guys out. Now, turn these, bring these up for a pause. A lot of ratchets. Man, these are nice, solid ratchets and I'm sure you can hear how loud these guys are. These are already out for tail, so that'll work. We're going to come down here to the bottom, open this up, and turn this around, and that's going to give us our head right there. Um, that is really cool. <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful figure. Let me straighten it out just a bit. Yeah, check this guy out. Let's uh, see. Open the mouth. He's got a gun in there. So that must mean that we can do some... Yep, we sure can. Check this out. So we can take that and pop it right in there. And we got ourselves a little firing motion there, firing action. And I'm sure we can do something with all of these too. I wonder. Let's try that. What do you think? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay, that's a little too heavy. He won't hold that with his jaw. But that, that is cool, guys. Check that out. That is too cool. But yeah, that is, that is way too heavy. He can't handle that. Um, but yeah, okay, so the head moves up and down, mouth opens and closes, and as you saw, the, we got ratchets on the top of the uh, leg there, in and out, rotation, bend at what, I guess, elbow, I guess, and then at the uh, ankles themselves, and that can also rotate too. Um, so that's all the way around on all the legs, of, yeah, the legs on the back can also go in and out as well. So that is really, really neat, very cool figure. So let's set him off to the side, let's work on, so that's Lynx, let's work on Sky. Before we do, let me... Do some fires. Let's see. What do we think? Let's break this down. Let's see how many pieces of fire we have. So we have. Doesn't seem like they're all symmetrical. So we got that one. We have these two. We have uh, these two little flower ones, and then these three tips. So what can we do? We can mix and match these. Let's do three tips and three flowers. Although these flowers are not all the same. So we'll do this big one on the top, and we'll do the smaller ones on the bottom here to see if that fits. It sure does. Check that out. That is very, very cool. So you can play around with these, mix and match them. we got seven pieces here, so you can just kind of move them, you know, change them around and uh, set them up any way you wish. So that's very, very cool. All right. All right, we got the, uh, on Sky, we got the landing gear put away. Let us unhook these wings that gave me so much trouble to hook. <laughs> Let's unhook these. Yeah, that one, now, now, once it's in there, that one was in there actually pretty tight. This one you saw came up pretty easily, but that one was on pretty tight. These are going to come up. Legs are going to come out. And these are pretty tight as well, which I guess is a good thing, because it seems like these legs are going to be a little linky. There's a lot of weight at the top of this thing, so, yeah, that seems to be holding okay, though. That's pretty good. All right, uh, what do we want to do next? Uh, let's go ahead and open up the wings. Oh, these are going to open this way, and then they're going to slide out that way. And they do clip into place. Very cool. So that comes out like that. That comes out like that. Remember, guys, I am guessing as I go, by the way, so I am very likely going to make mistakes here at some point up very g1 this comes out this should close there's our tail okay that popped off so watch out for that it's just a little hook piece here that can just clip right back in and we got quite a few p uh, points of articulation there for the uh for the tail there you go. all right moment of truth we're gonna get the head out so this should just yep comes right out uh ratchet on the on the neck, one, two, three, four points of articulation. That opens up, and there's another gun inside of the mouth right there, as you can see. So we can do another one of these big blasts coming out of there. Let's see. He's got a tongue, and he's got a gun. And that one's actually holding pretty good, as you can see. So there he is. There is Sky, part of Skylynx, and he is massive. Again, let's get Prime out here. Look at this. Guys, this is massive. This is huge. This is really, really cool. And in terms of articulation, I guess there's not a whole lot to write home about, right? So our wings can flap up and down some. Uh, I guess that part of the wing can do that. And then the points of articulation that I already pointed out for the tail and for the neck. The legs have uh, can move up here at the base. They can actually rotate. You've got uh, the knee can uh, um, 
go, I guess, 100 and 170 degrees. Same with the ankle, and then the toes can also uh, actually open and close a little bit. So, and as you can see, he's standing pretty good. So that is awesome. My goodness, the I am so impressed with this figure. This thing is massive. He looks so. These two together are just absolutely massive just and, and we still have to combine these this is so so cool the more i fiddle with this the more i love him i i have to tell you i was kind of on the fence about this figure and uh the more i'm fiddling with him the more i'm loving him so let's do the skylinks mode so we're going to open that up and oh there's uh something i didn't see before his neck can actually go side to side some at the base and at the top of the head. So there's uh, two more points of articulation I had not noticed. Let's go ahead and put that away. Okay, I am so scared of scratching up that gold head. Okay. I'm not sure. Does Skylinks have the dual tails? I don't think he does. I think Skylinks has the tails put away because he already has that tail there for the bird mode. So I think that's all we need for the Lynx part. And then for the Sky part, we're going to take these legs put these back away and again now comes the part where I have to clip this thing to that container links part again and uh, I have not quite figured out how to do that yet <laughs> let's see what happens all right so there's that there's that and now we're ready to combine them and maybe I can get lucky this time and actually pop it in properly and click that guy in the place and Yep, see, look at that. It's actually clipped in on the back now. It, it's not popping off. So, see, I was doing something wrong earlier when I was doing the container mug. But there it is. Let's straighten this guy out. Oh, man, this guy is awesome. Guys, check this out. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. This guy like, can turn his neck or at the top of his head, too, which I had not pointed out. Absolutely gorgeous gorgeous figure i really do need to get a proper setup going again so that i can show because i'm really i don't think i'm showing off how beautiful how massive and how beautiful this figure just is let's set these two guys side by side so you can see yeah it there's just it's absolutely massive that's i mean it's commander class so it's going to be massive i guess the only thing missing here is the motorized feature it doesn't walk on its own but who cares it gave us a uh a shuttle base mode this is absolutely gorgeous guys this is a must get this is i uh, like i said i was on the fence about this figure which is why i didn't order it um i'm so happy that my wife decided to surprise me with it when she saw it on the shelf because this is an absolute beautiful figure oh my goodness i can't i am so excited to fiddle with this thing all night tonight uh, this is fantastic. What an amazing, beautiful, beautiful figure. Let's see. Oh, we can open the wings up like that a little bit. Yeah, that looks really nice. That's beautiful, guys. That is absolutely beautiful. So, there it is, guys. The new Commander Class Earthrise Skylinks. What an absolutely stunning, surprisingly beautiful figure. I am in love with this figure. Like I said, I was on the fence about this. I did not know that this was going to come out. To actual retail i had no idea that this was going to be something you could find on shelves i thought this was an online order and i was really on the fence about it and i decided i i, I just wasn't sure if i wanted to get this or not uh i am glad that my wife gave me the push by finding this online or not online in the store and actually getting it for me uh, i'm just playing around with the uh, wing settings here yeah, that looks really nice right there. I'm glad that she, she kind of gave me that push that I needed because I was going to miss out. I would have probably missed out on an absolute stunning, beautiful, excellent, fantastic figure. I cannot say enough good things about it. Everything this figure does is done right. That that shuttle mode, I'm a big fan of the shuttle. I went to the last two Atlantis um, uh, launches. I went to the last night launch and I went to the last day launch. I actually have a video of the day launch. Uh, it's one of the very first videos I ever put on my channel ever, years and years and years ago. Um, so, uh, yeah, that base mode with that shuttle docking mode thing that it's doing and all the ramps to connect to the other Earthrise figures, all that stuff is really cool. And then you've got the, the, the Sky and the Lynx mode, uh, which are pretty cool in and of themselves. But when you combine them into this Sky Lynx mode, 
Uh, it's just absolutely massive and beautiful. And once again, because I know the angle that I had before just wasn't doing it. Look at this, guys. This is... <laughs> this thing is massive. This is really cool. And he's absolutely gorgeous. I have no idea where I'm going to put him. Um, because, again, my room is just still a castle of boxes. Um... But uh, I'm really glad I got him. This is fantastic. If you guys see this, get him. If you can get ordering online, get him. Fantastic figure. And again, thank guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, if you like this new format that I'm kind of playing with right now, uh, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you're notified when I upload other videos. Uh, I'm just doing them randomly like I'm doing this one tonight. I had no plans to make any videos tonight. Uh, and this came up. So, you know, I'm just doing videos up randomly now. So hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you next time.